Who's ready for summer? The heat, you guys just love the heat, right? It's nice and hot. Go jump in the pool, get a little barbecue going. What? Sunbirds? Sunburns? You know, sunburns can give you skin cancer. Okay? So you want to make sure you put on your sunscreen. Lather up with that sunscreen. Uh, Tonight, I thought I would ask you the question, what are you going to do with your summer? Work. Work. One person is going to work for their summer. The rest of you, what are you going to do with your summer? Have, Have you ever had a summer go by so fast that it seemed like you just woke up the next day and it was time for school to start? Every summer. And you're like, what just happened? Did I just waste three months of my life? I don't know about you, but when I, would, when I was in school and I would have summer break, <clears throat> the first month of summer, I just, I did nothing. I ate cereal, I laid on the couch and watched TV all day, all day long. That's it. I just watched TV. I don't even know what I watched. Like, like Judge Judy and more Judge Judy. Back in the day, it was like Geraldo Rivera and uh, was that guy with the silver hair? No, not Maury Povich. He was an old dude. His name started with a D. His last name? <sighs> Donahue. Phil Donahue. That was before Jerry Springer went all crazy. Uh, anyway, that's back in the day. I would just watch TV all day. I would never go outside, play video games, Donkey Kong Country, anybody? Yeah, and video games stunk when we were kids, and I would just play video games all summer long. And at the end of summer, after eating chips all day and sitting around doing nothing, I would be going back to school, and I just feel this huge like emptiness and void. Like, how did I just waste three months of my life? Three months. You get three months, right? Do you still get three months off? Give or take, two and a half? So I wanted to encourage you guys tonight to not waste your summer. And here's how uh, I'm going to explain it tonight. What do you call this thing where it goes from top to bottom with the word summer? A cross stick, right? What did you say? Bingo. That's, that's cool, too. So let's put the word summer up there. I think I have it on the... Yes. Oh, an acronym? No, I think it's called a cross stick, right? Does anybody not know this? And we're going to look at two ways to spend your summer. The first way is not the, the, not the right way. And then the second way we'll look at is the right way to spend your summer. Okay? S. What do you think S stands for? Sleep in. No, this is bad. You should not be doing this every day. You're going to waste your summer. Proverbs 2013 says, don't be too fond of sleep. You'll end up in the poorhouse. Wake up and get up, then there will be food on the table. You, what does you stand for? No one will get this. No. I had to really get, I, I, had, I really stretched on a lot of these. To, I'm gonna, it, was, it wasn't easy. This would, all, this would happen to me during the summertime. Become unacquainted with God or the Lord. My relationship with the Lord during the summertime would always just... I never read my Bible. I would never... 
Is that right? Oh, is that not right? Become unacquainted with God? Oh, no, I didn't. No, we're, we're, yeah. Become unacquainted with God. My, I, I, I would waste my summer and I wouldn't spend time with the Lord. I wouldn't spend time in prayer. And you guys should not do that. Do not do that. Take time every day to build your relationship with God. M, I would just Mickey Mouse around. Yeah. I remember one summer, uh, me and my friends, we all had Fiesta Texas season passes. And we would go to Fiesta Texas every single day. Every single day, we would just go to Fiesta Texas. And what would we do? We'd do nothing. We would sit on the Rattler, and it would just go and go. And we'd sit there for like two hours, because no one's there in the summer. And then, you know what we'd do? We'd go get on the Lazy River. And then we'd just, ah, for two hours... And then we'd get hungry, and so uh, Steven Vela owned a McDonald's just down the street, and so we'd go, and he would give us free McDonald's. And then we would go back, and then we'd just Mickey Mouse around all summer long. John 9, 4 says, As long as it is day, we must do the work of him who sent me. Night is coming when no one can work. We need to take time during the summer to be about the Lord's business, not just wasting our time, not just Mickey Mousing around. We need to get about doing what God's called us to do. The other M that I would do a lot of times in summer is I would just make life miserable for everybody else. (sighs) This is boring. There's nothing to do. I would... I would... Because I was so boring and bored, I would make, I would just try and make everyone else miserable because of the state I was in. Oh, how come we can't go do this? Ah, why don't we go to Disneyland? Why don't we go do something? I would make life miserable for everyone, which is not good. You don't want to do that. You know, the only people who get bored, I've realized this, Boring people are the only people who get bored. If you ever find yourself saying, I'm bored, you're just boring. You are just a boring person. This is boring. I'm bored. You're saying more about yourself than you even realize. So you you should really not say that. Because anybody who's anybody who knows anything about anything, they know that when someone says they're bored, that they're really just a boring person. So, okay, moving right along. E. Man, that, God, that is so good. I should have used that. I said enjoy it while you can, but I don't even know, I don't even, can I be honest with you guys? I have no idea what I was thinking when I put this down. I have totally forgot what this is even supposed to mean at this point. So let's just keep, let's just go right past that one. R. This is stuff you're not supposed to do. Ruin your appetite. I would just eat pizza rolls. I would just gorge myself on whatever junk food I could find laying around the house. And then you go back to school and you can't fit any of your clothes because it's just not pretty. And you show up on the first day and everyone's like, hey, where's Matthew? And you're like, I'm right here. And they're like, what happened to you? Who's this? Dude, Jenny Craig is what they would say. And Richard Simmons, get on the, uh, what did you call that? Exercise? Uh, Jazzercise. Anyway. You would just ruin your appetite. You'd get fat. Proverbs 23, 21 says, drunkards and gluttons become poor. Do not be a glutton this summer. All right, let's look at the stuff we should be doing this summer. The S. What do you think the S stands for? Smile. That's good. It's not it. 
Seek God. Seek God. Proverbs 8, 17 says, I love those who love me and those who seek me find me. We need to take time during the summer when we have all this time on our hands. Most of us probably are not going to be working. You have every single day to do anything you want all day long. Yes, you're just sitting around. Seek God. Take time every day to seek God, to pray. Get up and come to fresh start. Don't let the summertime be, uh, don't take a summer break from God. Don't take a summer break from your relationship with God. Do what you can to spend time with him, to seek him, to pray. Number two, or, or you. Any, anybody think they got this? Understand what? God, God's word. Understand God's word. We have all this time when we're not having to fill our minds with um, schoolwork. We could be taking that time to spend time studying God's word, to use our minds, to sharpen our minds in God's word, not just letting them go idle, not just totally focusing on Facebook statuses and video games and what Lady Gaga's putting in her shoulders this week. We need to focus on understanding God's word, opening it up, praying. We pray, we seek God, and then we say, Lord, reveal to me something in your word, something deep, God, and we study it. There's so much depth. There's so, much, so many deep things in God's word. We don't have to have a shallow relationship with God. We don't have to get to a plateau. We can continue to, to, to study God's word and learn from God's word. M. Make, dude, Greg, make time for, no, 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 no. I've, I've already done prayer and God's word. Family. Yeah. Oh, I guess you guys need to hear this. Make time for your family. Make time to uh, do what you can to, to spend time with your mom or your dad or your brothers or your sisters or your uncle, um, whoever, or aunt or whatever. Your grandparents. You know, I only have one. I have two. I have two grandparents who are still alive. Um. But I also have three grandparents that have died. They're no longer here. And all my great-grandparents are dead. Who here, who here still has grandparents who are alive and well? Who here has great-grandparents who are still alive and well? We need to take time. Take time to get to know them. Take time to hear about their stories because their story... And your parents' story, their life, is your life. The reason you are where you are and the person you are is who you are is because of them and their life and their story. And learning from them and what the, where they came from and the challenges that they came from will help you understand yourself so much more. And not only that, we can have fun. We can say, hey, Dad, let's go toss a ball out in the parking lot or, hey, let's... Uh, Go fly fishing, or hey, uh, mom, why don't uh, why don't we bake cookies or something? I don't know. Spend time with your family. Make time for family. I know all of you are going to love this next one. Be the Be the mailman. <laughs> Be the maid. Be the maid. How about around the house? Yes. Yes. Do not. Some of you are like, I'm already the maid. 
Well, good. Do it with a good attitude. Go out of your way to, I know that some of these are really practical, but go out of your way to help out around the house. Be the maid. Proverbs, no, Exodus 20.12 says, honor your father and mother. It's one of the Ten Commandments. Do something extra around the house, okay? It doesn't have to be every single day, but just do something. Just, I'm just trying to challenge you guys to get off your rear ends and do something with your summer, okay? So if all it is is taking the trash out for your parents one time when they didn't ask or cleaning up that absolutely pigsty room of yours without them having to jump on you and sit on you until they, you clean your room, okay? E, B, and... Encourager, yes, be an encourager. Be an encourager. Hebrews 10, 24 says, and let us consider how we may spur one another on toward love and good deeds. Let us not give up meeting together as some are in the habit of doing, but let us encourage one another. Don't let summertime be a time where you uh, quit encouraging people around you, where you quit uh, getting together and praying with people and 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 coming together to worship God. Don't let summertime be a time where you just disappear entirely from church and then, oh, I'll start going to church again when summertime is over. Be an encourager. The Bible says that iron sharpens iron, that we're to encourage one another, that we're to sharpen one another, that we're not to forsake coming together to worship. So let's encourage one another during the summer. And finally, R. Reflect, reflect on what God's done. God has done so much for us. Every single one of us, he's, he's, he's saved us. He's paid for our salvation. He's delivered us from sin. He gives us the strength to overcome sin. He's blessed us with, with so much, just the fact that we live in this awesome country. We need to reflect on what God's done for us. Psalm uh, 77, 12 says, once again, I'll go over what God has done. Lay out on the table the ancient wonders. I'll ponder all the things you've accomplished and give a long, loving look at your acts. I don't know what translation that is, but we need to, we need to take time. We can sit down and we can think about what God's done and we can thank him and we can just reflect over those things.